Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Little Maddie Deer, an RPG Maker horror game where you must help a little girl find paradise. Little Maddie Deer once had a dream that she climbed the stairs on and on and on with her best friend, Mr. Dora. And at the very top of the stairs, was a very special room where all her wishes can come true. Yes, you can even end anime up there. In paradise, Maddie can play all day long with her friends. Eat sweets whenever she wants. Sleep whenever she wants. Maddie wished she could stay here forever. You could just become a neat. That would let you do all that. But alas, it was only a dream. Maddie, wake up. It's coming. It's coming. What's coming, Mr. Dora? Does your name stand for, like, adorable? Like, adorable? The boogeyman is coming. Just kidding. The boogeyman doesn't exist, silly. Hey, I'm the boogeyman. How you doing? Come on, pick me up. Let's have fun, cute adventures. I know you've been dreaming about paradise again, right? Let's go climb the stairs while everyone is asleep. They'll just try to follow us if we leave in the morning. We'll just check to see if it's really there. We can come back for everyone later, okay? Who's everyone? Oh, okay. Items. Shirt's too big for Maddie. Did that do anything? No, not really. Stuff. Maddie's best friend. Skills. Survival. Girl in blue. Interesting. Acquired photo? I feel like that's gonna become useful for something in life. There's a bear there. Don't want to deal with that. Acquired drawing. Like Snuggles. It's a pretty, uh, pretty big bun. Somebody placed a heavy lock on the wardrobe. The good doctor will not return this time. Boy, there sure is a lot of number locks around here. Strawberry candy! Oh boy! Looks like red candy. Hiya, Maddie. Why are you up this late? The teddy bear asked Maddie cheerfully. Are you going to the attic? Jack said if you can go up there, all your wishes can come true. He went there last week and he never came back. He must have gone to paradise. Here, take this. The bear gave her a brightly glowing lantern, which shone with a calming warm hue. It's dark up ahead, so be careful. The sleepy bunnies, Bun, are sleepwalking again. Don't bump into them, or they'll snuggle you to death. <laughs> Sounds hilarious, but also horrifying. Just make sure to press the shift button and turn the low on and off. Good luck, Maddie. Say hi to Jack for me. Oh, this makes things a lot better. Nice. Look in the mirror fills Maddie with determination. Okay. Hey, bun! What's up? You know, they're not really bothering me. What can a bun do? Hey, look, it wants a snuff. Ah! Maddie lost track of time. Oh, did we not, like, uh. Interesting. I'm trying to think, like, was that a game over? Or do you just not literally die you like wake up like oh i lost track of time should i maybe i should reload no oh, no maybe it was a game over who knows well the buns weren't really aggressive it was just like hey how you doing i bumped into one and they snuggled me so i don't think they're much of a threat strawberry candy oh boy They're just kind of, they're just kind of rolling around at the speed of. No, not really. They're pretty slow. Oh 
boy. Uh, I miss pumpkin charms. Blueberry candy. I feel like these buns are just a like glorified tutorial. Well, here's how the buns can kill you. You get backed into a corner like this. There's dead ends. So... Man, I can hop. Like a bun. So it's, it's more like the buns... These buns, anyway, are not a pursuer type. They are... A, I'm gonna slow you down and inconvenience you type. Look at that. Oh yeah, there was a whole thing about the photo and stuff. Like that's important. This in the window, it's a painting. Huh. Yeah, see? That's kinda what I mean. Well, let's just go on here then. Quart photo. Hmm. I see there's a secret room branching off one of those areas. I think that's how you interpret it. Is it gonna be like a Metroidvania? Not literally a Metroidvania, only my stamina's going down more. Hmm. Hey, bear. Bear? 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 <laughs> Bears can't climb tables. Whoa, what was that? I don't know, you tell me, adorable. That one looks very dangerous. You better stay away from those, Maddie. Next time another one comes. You should run. Whoa. Cost 25 stamina, one to run. Runs faster, but after five seconds, you will be slowed down for two seconds. Scary. They're so mean. Hmm. The cat says, hang in there, kitty. Eat the meal, yeah. Maybe I should have conserved that. Whoops. The news today is about the pizzeria that burnt down. Freddy? So, we're in the middle. There's some stuff going on downstairs, and there's like a secret area. Not secret, but like, there's a thing going on down there. So I can see why they punish you in the stamina on that. It's because the... Oh my god, more maps. It's a map game. They don't want you, like, hopping back and forth and abusing it. Ooh. So... Hey, hello there! The teddy in the beautiful blue dress had a faraway look in her eyes. She didn't notice Maddie at first until Maddie raised a hand to catch her attention. Oh, hello, Maddie. Are you going to the banquet too? I crashed my pumpkin and now my dress is ruined. I think I missed the floor. This place doesn't look fancy enough for a party. The teddy sighed dramatically. I give up. I can't walk all the way up there with these heels. Hey, tell me later how the food tastes, okay? Okay. Hmm. Oh! You're Anika. Whoa. Whoa! It's fine. It's fine. Don't need to sprint. Need to sprint. Oh, that's a big slowdown. Ooh, that is a sprint. Hey, Mandy. You know, maybe you should try screaming next time you see those monsters. I'm serious, I'm probably more scared of you than you are of them. I don't know about that, Mr. Dora. Oh, so that's what happened. Anyway, let's keep going. Cost 25 stamina, stuns all enemies, it turns off your lantern for 5 seconds. It's waiting for me. Scary. I'm gonna reload. I wanna see if I missed anything down there. I literally have a lantern. Look inside. 
soon. What does this mean? Dear Diet, Miss Mr. Bernie. I think they killed him. I hate them. Uh, okay. Blueberry candy. <laughs> Bear's gonna be on the right. Whoa! <laughs> so I don't think that was a secret room. I think that was like the room we came in. Like it shut itself behind us. Now there there was the lock stuff, like here. Wait, what? One, one, two, four. Oh, nice. Oh, I get it. It's a skin, as in, like, it's an outfit. Yeah, so I did miss stuff. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's explore this new area. So we look in our map. It's not even a map, it's photos. We came in far south. Hmm. I feel like something's missing on this map. Possibly. We'll see. Let's kind of explore. I need to find a save point. If there is one. Bear. Bun. Hey, Bun. Yeah, so Buns are just... Ow! No, I should have screamed. I have to scream during that. I need to eat. It's one of those kind of mirrors. You know, a room resetting mirror. Well, I mean, we made it. New skin. 0920. I can think these are the combinations, obviously. Nice. Is there anywhere else I can? Sound of the truck brings painful memories. Interesting. Well, we've locked out that route. Let's see if we can do anything here. I think this is the exit to the place. Don't want to do that yet. I'm assuming you can kind of speed run it. See the yellow right there? And then... Or you can go around looking for stuff, which might affect like an ending or something? Well... So it worked. Oh, I don't like mannequins. They like to think you don't see them move around, but we do. Termination. Fish. Come back for you, fish. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ow! No! That's right, I'm screaming. What you gonna do about 
I'm also like nearly dead and I'm probably gonna die. Running low on stamina. Why am I about to run out of stamina? Gonna wait, not use it just yet. Gotta use it now. Blueberry candy. Fun? How did I scream you out? Strawberry candy. I'm not quite comfortable with this area here. Very long hallway. Yeah, that's right. Scream too powerful. I'm the Banshee. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Common Star Fox references. <laughs> the only thing that stops that thing is screaming at it really loud. So all you people bad at horror games will have an easy time in this world. Is this... Where is this? What? Uh, those are weird. That was horrifying. What were those things? Medi dear, are you okay? You should try to rest whenever you get the chance. I have a feeling we'll see more of those creatures. But don't worry, this will be worth it in the end if we can find paradise. Or... Run. Don't back hide in the dark. I think I have to load back. This is the next area. Okay, so we're going to go back to the lower level here in the one bottom left corner. This is where the NPC is. Every level is kind of an NPC, I guess. At first glance, it looked nothing like a large mound of hair. But on closer look, there was a small teddy underneath, the messy mane, and she was crying buckets of tears. You have beautiful hair. Who are you? How'd you get up here? The teddy bear sobbed and shrank away from Manny. Please don't tell. Oh, please don't tell. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. For a moment, the light of the lantern shone over the bruises on the teddy's arms. I feel like these things are us. It hurts. I don't want to hurt again. It's a strawberry candy? Teddy in red. See you tomorrow. Tell me how food tastes. Please don't tell. I saw him do it. He was... Being that poor girl? I can't do anything. I'm just... A... Blanking janitor. I hope that blank blood stain rots in hell. Oh man. So now I know what the mannequins are. We know why it's in the tub. So resting seems like more of an emergency. This memory file thing is really weirding me out. So, we have maps of this area, but the maps are very, how do you say, hmm. So storage, freezer, rooms, kitchen. There's the other part of it. Main hall, intersection, cafeteria, storage. Then, stuff. What is this room? I feel like these make me, like, more confused than, uh, I would be otherwise. <laughs> okay, safe zone. 
two healing items. There's a bun. You know why they're giving you so much food? It's because of, uh... Those floors that do damage. They know. Oh, they know. At least these are bad food. Hmm. I think it's bad food. I better eat never to find out. Yeah, I think they're bad food. Maybe this one's gonna work. So change of plans. All food is bad. Although I knew it after the first one. It was more like I just wanted to see what happened. So those things make a very audible noise. Don't want to be there. They're attracted to light. Like, greatly attracted to light. I might as well chug this. It's probably not going that way anytime soon. But there was stuff to the left. I kind of want to see it. I saved so I can take the risk. Just go. Just run it dark. You better not be in front of me. You are in front of me. But yeah, well, for your light off, they are pretty much... Why are you sensitive to the light? You don't have your eyes. <laughs> Little cubby holes I can pull myself out of. Oh man, they're everywhere. We're running in the dark for the most part. Came in from there. That's the fork in the road. This is where we came in. We ran to the right. We were like, oh no. Oh no, I'm running. Table. I think we're just gonna run with our light. We need to like turn on occasionally just to see, make sure we know where we're going. I'm just letting you know that the kid took the scissors again. Y'all need to keep an eye on those... Freaks? It's got a weird laugh. I don't want to cross these unless I have to. Ooh, I saw you there. I saw you. You ain't coming in. You ain't, you ain't delivering that package. Package is undelivered. There's that goo. I think at some point I'm gonna have to face the goo. I should be counting a monster very soon. How many memory files do we have? Just two? I we have more than that. Did I reload and lose one? I might have. I know where it would be if it... There is a bear. You brought the bears back? I'm not sure if I can bear it. Four out of four. I suspect this might be the end of the line around here. Monster's blocking my path. I can't go this way no matter what. Check the... Cold key. Man, that's cold. Like, literally, it's a cold key. It's not like a cold room, it's, it's just the cold key. I think the monster was to the bottom right. Yo! She... They don't hurt that bad, actually. Really, y'all? Got the thing. 
Is the thing just a troll item? Walk right into it. That's why you should tap the... I can use that to my advantage. Lure him into like a bigger room. Get him out of the hallways. Ow. Oof. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom right. Hopefully this is not the exit of the area. Because we have not done much exploring here yet. No, it's uh... Little area over here. Did require something that I wanted though, which is great. Not the light before I check this. A, B, C, D. This is for the next area. So you always get the map for the next area in the area you're currently in. So it's almost like it's a reward, you know what I mean? So we just went, here's where we are, we're at the bottom right, D. So we're in this room. DC goes to DC. These will take us to toilet, toilet, temporary storage, upper floor. Goo. What is to the left, goo? Whoop. There is one of those things. Go north. Banquet. We don't want to go to the next zone, so I want to be careful of that. Yeah, that's bad. That's a bear. May need to get ready to tap the... Yep. <laughs> Gotta tap it. Blueberry candy. Hey, it's... It looks pretty, but it smells horrible. Strawberry candy. Arr. Rooms. Hey. There is our NPC and a save, which is exactly what I wanted. Nice. Determination. So you got yourself an item there. Kinda wants it. The twins refused to talk because they were too busy fighting. I'm gonna get you guys to stop fighting. Kids need to took the scissors. I have the cold key. I have to go in the uh, cold storage. Nah. Cold key. Super effective. Nice Pokemon. Got scissors. So cut things short. I'm gonna tank the hits. It's not that much damage, honestly. It saves me so much time. The scissors were snatched away from Maddie's hands. Ha ha! The red twin laughed triumphantly. Finally, finally I could be free from this stupid ugly thing. You're ugly, stupid, too. The love twin retorted angrily. Come on, cut it. I want to round our play with everyone. The right teddy growled angrily and shook the scissors into the hand. Shut up. This is all your fault. Once I'm free of you, I can finally go home. Mommy and Daddy will finally love me. Go on, then. Cut it. Cut it. The love twin chanted sadly, her eyes twinkling with joy. Uh, not my business. Oh. Blood trails off. Alright. I think I cleared this floor. I didn't find a costume. I, I really cloned the place, but it could be in like a little obscure area I didn't find. 
But as far as story and everything, we, we found everything in this floor. So let's go to the next one. Huh, I'm here right at the start. I don't like that. Maddie, I think we made it. We finally reached the attic. Oh dear, I never thought it'd be this hard. Great work, Maddie. We're not quite there yet, though. Let's try to find the doorway as soon as possible. Can you hear him in the dark? Determination. Also, I'm in pain. I'm dying. So what kind of enemy will I encounter up here? Will I encounter a mixture of all of them? It's the red goo. I'm just gonna ignore the red goo from now on. It, it almost does more damage for me too. There's the bun. Okay, I mean, I'm not too worried about the buns. Buns are not a, a bun worrying thing. Kind of going in a pattern. Ouch, yeah, it's a mixture of things. What, what is that? It's immune to my... So it's a Fredo... Oh! One's a Fredo light, and one is... Hates light. No, bun! I'm being bunned! Okay, so buns in the later levels kill you. They don't just, like, snuggle you. <laughs> So the layout of the top right is a little curious. What is the things for? Ow. The thing. I acquired something. I, I didn't really see what it was. Maybe it was never a thing. There was a void. Hi, right, buddy. Get out of here. Get. Just take the hits. Minuscule amount of damage. Okay. I'm gonna cut. Three to the left. So now the buns are actually dangerous. Like, are they directly dangerous? No. But they kill you. They touch you, they kill you. And these are tight hallways. The true the true danger and purpose of the buns is Listen, you need to get out of here. Like, find any way you can. Just get out of here. Uh, Our eyes are yet to open. Ooh, that's bad. Ow! Nothing personal. Bears! I might need to scream. Look at the bottom. Who's the bear? There is a mirror here, which is good. Could have used to save. Mm. Wrong one. Okay, I see where this is going. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't need to go up. Because that was just kind of a maze. And it wasn't really that amazing. We do need to go to the bottom right and hook to the right or so. Wow, that was a wombo combo. I need to leave towards the other direction. Whoa! That's a bad, terrible combo. Okay. 
keep myself healed. There's gotta be another mirror or something somewhere with like food near it. Hopefully. Okay. That's where the fork is, but where does the fork lead? One leads to something interesting to the left. Or it would have if it wasn't a hole there. Hmm. So they want you to tackle it a little differently. So this path was, oh my god, this whole entire path was useless. Like, it was literally useless. Here we go. Maybe we can work with something over here. Whoa, that's weird. Don't. He's here, don't run. Take it, you don't want me to run. Look, oh, don't look back. Food. Determination. NPC, food, take this. Giant puppet. Hey. But Teddy didn't look too good, but he still stood tall, towering over Mandy. There were bandages all over him, and he was equipped to teeth with all sorts of equipment. Mandy recognized him, and he too noticed that she did. It made him let out a right chuckle. Heh, <laughs> Manny. You're awake. Well, sorta. So, looking for paradise. His mouth twisted into a crooked smile, though it was very brief. There was a long silence before he spoke again in a slower, more serious tone. I won't stop ya. I'm considered myself, but I'm just... Jack shook his head and took a long bowl of his whittled cigarette. Anyway... I'll check the path up ahead. It's safe. Sorry that I can't come with you. With one last nod, he walked away. His metal bat cr created a raking noise as it dragged across the wooden floor. Goodbye, Manny. I have a feeling I need to buy you some time. The rest? Get in the paradise? That's all up to you. Oh, Maddie, can you see it? Paradise? That light at the very end must be it. The doorway to paradise. Good thing there's nothing else trying to stop us. Oh no, it's that. Yes, you said something obvious, so now the thing is coming after us. That's the bogeyman. Maddie, run! Whoops. Be a little slow. I'm gonna die. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Don't use a sprint unless I need to really get a lead. Now. Made it. Paradise. Of sorts. Madison stood from the brightly glowing pane of glass. There were butterflies outside. Soft rolling clouds. And the chirps of colorful birds. Madison wished she could stay like this forever. But alas, this nightmare needed to end. She had enough. If she couldn't find everlasting happiness, then she just wanted to be free.
child aged seven found dead. Investigation in the city orphanage continues as the body of a child was found dead this morning. The owner, Mr. Borgeman, I get I get the pun now, has refused to give any statements to the press. The authorities, however, are constantly pressurizing Mr. Borgeman in regards to this and other recent events. So that was the true ending. Let's go and get the bad ending. Okay, there we go. And so many left through the shining doorway. All was left behind. The monsters. The horrors. All of Manny's burdens were finally lifted. We're finally here, Mandy. It's finally over. Are you worried about the others? Don't worry, they'll be fine. We can wait for them from this side. It was here in paradise. And Maddie could find everlasting happiness. So to get the bad ending, you just need to not talk to all the NPCs. The last one is mandatory, and the first one's mandatory. So just any of the ones in between, just skip one. Which was the, the twins I chose to skip. So it's pretty much the same ending, but it looks like this one's just a little more vague about what happened, while well, the other one is just more literal, like, yeah, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, so I did put the code in there. Hmm. Well, the one gave me an outfit. Oh, I see. Let's get the outfits early. You can put it. Ah. There's a tunnel inside. Climb in, yes. Oh dear. I didn't think we have to use that tunnel. It's better this way, I'm sure. We're trying to be sneaky after all. Let's avoid talking to anyone along the way. So this just looks like this is an alternate route. I suppose this will lead to a different ending. I should still get items. I still need to heal. I think I'm finding the path to the third ending. I'm on the uh, No Lantern route. And I did find a key. Which looks like it leads to a room over here. Where is it? There it is. The room smelled foul. Of corpses of rats. Spiders known for unsavory critters. It was pitch black, but Maddie didn't need to see much to know what was in this room. This room was familiar to her. In the center of the room was a tall mirror, one that used to belong to her. Hello. Do you like what I did to the place? I like how it looks now. Wispy strands of webs from arachnids long deceased clung from the edges of the shattered mirror. From and hung various things, many of which were no longer recognizable nor alive. Maddie did not like how the room looked at all. I think he might need that. The broken girl gestured toward the long metal bar, leaning against the mirror. Go on. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Take it and leave me. Take it and leave me. Take it. Leave me! Whoa, let's not go back in there. It's probably best we keep that all taped up. Quite crooked bar. You couldn't just take crowbar. No, it is a crooked bar. It looks like a pipe. Maybe? No, I just could be an item. Generic like item thing. So that's gonna be for something. It could be on this floor, it could be on the next. Oh, there's a skin over here. Broken girl. Leave me. Oh boy.
Man, I think we may have finally reached the attic. Oh dear, I never felt it to be this hard. Not quite there yet. Let's try to find the doorway. Okay. Here's the last costume I didn't get yet. This is the fancy outfit. And he usually dressed like this around the house. So this is before things went down. Oh, here we go. Secret? Hmm. Oh. I think we're... We're in the finale, but we skipped all the... Puppets. Well, dolls. Oh, Mandy, can you see it? The light at the very end must be in the doorway to the paradise. Good thing there's nothing else trying to stop us. Except the boogeyman. Oh no, it's the enemy. Whoever guessed. Yeah, so this makes sense. Because I was like, how do you circumvent the last guy? Oh, made it. Maddie stood in front of the shining doorway. There were butterflies outside. Soft rolling clouds. And the chirps of colorful birds. The crown was also really far below her. Maddie dear, don't worry. Here, hold me tight. I'll go with you. You just need to jump across. Trust me. And so, because she believed in her best friend, Maddie leapt through. Maybe this will be a scene after the credits. Maddie, wake up! It's coming, it's coming! The boogeyman is coming. What? Hmm. That ending seems to just add more questions and answers, actually. So we know in the true ending she did die, because it was reported that way. At least, it was reported that she died, whether or not she actually did die. Or if it was covered up or something. And then the bad end has no epilogue screen and then the the blind end has an epilogue screen but looks like she's in like a hospital or something like she's tied up to a bunch of stuff so in this ending since she didn't talk to anyone period did she survive and they're they're bringing her back was it implying that a lot of this game was taking place in her mind not really sure but yeah once again that is all endings that was also all the secret costumes so we have basically plumbed this game for everything it has it's, it's a solid fun enough RPG maker horror game. It is essentially a maze. Although it's it's kind of a, a real maze that you kind of put together the vague maps together like, oh, where am I going, et cetera, et cetera. I would give it some slight criticism. This was part of a game jam, by the way. But I would give it some slight criticism in the sense of uh, the flow of how it's supposed to play doesn't come until maybe the last level where the enemies are interlocking with each other with how they work. So once again, it is a game jam game. You only can really make so many levels in that time frame. Although some of this content, like the new ending and the costumes were post jam additions and patches. And this was also part of a, it was called Kill the Cutie. So the main character has to die. Although one ending we see, well, no, technically the new ending is created after the event. So, so um, them living is now allowed because it's no longer technically a game jam game, but on another little note, I think this game's art is pretty good. It's got a nice kind of gothy, kind of gothy style. I don't think this artist is in particular does gothy works, but it, it works for an RPG maker horror game very well. To the point where once again, the, the game jam part holds it back a little because we get a little bit less art than we should. But well, it's an overall, saw enough RPG maker horror game. 
where, as you can kind of tell, most of my complaints just kind of stem from its development time. This developer does do some other games. They are actually not horror games. They are serious, more story-based games or RPGs. You're welcome to go check that out. Just kind of go down the links down in the description, click their, click that, and then click their profile. You'll see them there. But yeah. Anyway, so that's it for little Maddie Deer. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.